excessive sleep increase the risk of diabetes diagnosis? Investigators from Nurse House study found that U-shaped relationship between self-reported sleep duration and instant diabetes in 17,000 women following up for 10 years. Although both excessive sleep duration and sleep deprivation were significantly associated with diabetes instance in multi-variety models. But after adjusting for body mass index as a confounding variable, only long sleep duration was significant correlate with diabetes instance. In our story of sleep beauty, she might suffer from diabetes and have two blood pressure to find the cause. We have been investigating on the relationship between obesity and excessive sleep. Here is a six-year prospective study which have used Canadian participants. Their results found that excessive sleep would lead to a higher risk of future body weight gain and fat gain. Another 10 years for our studies have found different results. In this study, they have used Japanese participants and they found that only obese sleepers were affected by excessive sleep. Obese sleepers who have excessive sleep are more likely to have a body weight gain of more than 5 kg in 10 years time. These two studies show that eating habits in different cultures may lead to different effects of excessive sleep on obesity. Since in the Sleeping Beauty video, it was said that the prince and the princess will live happily together, yet after 6 to 10 years time, Sleeping Beauty may become very obese, and we don't know whether the prince is willing to live with her anymore. Long sleep duration has been shown to be linked to a decrease in cognitive performance by Duver and her colleagues. Female nurses aged 70 or over reported their sleep duration in 1986 and 2000. Their memory and reasoning skills were also assessed and followed up over three two-year intervals. The results demonstrated that those women who slept for less than five or slept for more than nine hours per night had a worse overall cognitive performance than those who slept for seven to eight hours per night. They therefore concluded that excessive sleep times tend to be associated with poor cognition in older women. In fact, over and under sleepers were mentally two years older than those women who got seven to eight hours eyes shut. So we might find that our sleeping beauty has trouble remembering just who it was who saved her life. Too much sleep has even been linked to an increased risk of death. In 2010, Francesco Caputo and his colleagues carried out a meta-analysis of 16 longitudinal studies, examining the relationship between sleep duration and death rates across all causes. Long sleep duration, defined as sleeping on average for more than 8 hours per night, was associated with increased mortality. In fact, those individuals who sleep for more than 8 or 9 hours per night are at a 30% greater risk of dying of any cause than those who sleep for just 7 or 8 hours. And this percentage increases even further as individuals increase their sleep time to an average of over 10 hours per night. Now, the researchers suggest that these associations exist due to multiple comorbidities, including depressive symptoms and health factors such as diabetes and obesity. So, whilst Aurora may think she's getting a happy ever after, this might not last just quite as long as she'd originally hoped. If candid sleep can have an effect on depressive symptoms. In 2014, George Kaufman and colleagues had a group of adolescents either gradually extend their sleep times by going to bed only for three weeks, or they slept as usual. Depressive symptoms were assessed by a sub-report both prior to and after this three-week period. Sleep times during the three weeks were measured using both actigraphy and sub-report measures. By the third day of the experiment, the sleep extension group was spending significantly more time in bed and sleeping for longer hours than their controls. It was found that depressive symptoms decreased significantly in the sleep extension group only, but gradual sleep extension seems to have beneficial effects on depressive symptoms of adolescents. So, 
say, although I might get a little bit of the happiness she's expecting. 